I thought I'd do another little mountain scene today. So I'm going to start off as usual by just wetting the paper all over, giving it a good soak because I don't want it to dry before I've got all of the sky in. Of course it lets me stretch this paper because it's only thin. You can uh, stretch it before we start painting, but I prefer to uh, get cracking first and stretch it as we paint. You can see already it's starting to stretch now. It's only thin, it's only £130, but it's still good enough to get some decent results on. So I'm just starting with the raw sienna. Um, I might just throw a few more colours in first before I get to the blue. I might go raw sienna, alizarin crimson. And just put that on fairly randomly. Maybe a bit stronger. Put some down the bottom because I might have some water. Yeah, I haven't really quite decided yet. Might go maybe a bit of uh, burnt umber, raw sienna, resin crimson, whatever, whatever turns you on really. Just more crimson. Get some colours up there, nice bright colours. It could be like a sunset or even a sunrise up in the sky. But always doing the same down the bottom. In case I'm Normally I do put water in, but it gives you the reflection of the sky and without, so automatic reflections without even trying really. Just keeps life simple. Put it in while you've still got the colour on the brush. Bit of blue. Just brushing it in from the side. But you can see Oh, it's starting to dry now, so I've just got that in on time, just before I do any more, I'm just going to put the mountains in now, so I'm just going to mix, just take a bit of all the sky colours, just mix them all together, and then maybe even add a bit of, well, a bit more burnt umber to the mix, just to get it nice and dark, and then pick where you want your peak of your mountain, somewhere Generally, the focal point somewhere one of or one of the focal points on your thirds, either a third of the way or two thirds across. I'm going to go somewhere about like that, up nice and high, and then come down. Maybe there's another little peak there, a bit more dark, and then. Put another one over uh, on the right hand side, put it the way down. If I do any more, I'm just going to pull this tight. You can see how it's starting to stretch. It's not going to stretch much more than that now, so just refix it with the clips over on the side. Now, I want it to look nice and snowy, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean the brush. And just use clear water just bring that down down to there in fact what I might do if I just shape this one first I mean I might put another I don't want this running all the way down all over the place I'll just shape this one first. So, clean brush again. But fairly damp because it makes it easy to take the paint off. Um, I'm going to start over on this side. I'm just going to take out some of the whites on the top of the mountains there. Get a nice chisel edge on your brush. Just 
keep cleaning your brush just take the excess off with the tea towel and then again just doing one peak at a time don't take off too much you still want to leave some nice dark areas in there and then tallest one of all I'm going to work that one across there maybe even around there a little bit So I can put a little highlight over on this side as well. Now that's in. I'm going to give that a quick dry. Then we're going to put another layer of mountains before that. A little bit closer to us. Just to help create some depth in the scene. Just make sure that's nice and dry before I start. So once that's dry, I'm going to clean the brush. But when it's fairly damp. I'm going to leave pretty, a lot of water on. I'm going to go back into this sort of dark. That's too damp. Back into this dark mix. A uh, bit of everything, but predominantly burnt umber and ultramarine. Just to get that nice dark look. You can get it almost black if you mix those two together. And now this is nice and dry. I'm looking for an area that I don't particularly like because obviously this is the chance to cover it up now. But I've, there's nothing I don't particularly like. Maybe if I'd come up. Yeah, sweet.